Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. President Tinubu assigns portfolios to ministers designate. Nigerian Air Force says there's no evidence recent helicopter crash in Niger State was a result of fire from bandits. Nara to get relief as NNPC Limited borrows $3 billion crude oil repayment loan. Tertiary Education Trust Fund says it's considering suspending foreign scholarships. President Bola Tinubu has assigned portfolios to minister designates. The highlights of the new ministerial portfolios include former River State Governor Hiyoso Wiki as Minister of FCT, Abubakar Badaru as Minister of Defense, Olawali Edu as Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Ali Party as Minister of Health and Social Welfare. The Nigerian Air Force says there is no evidence the recent helicopter crash in Niger State that claimed the lives of 23 military officers and crew was a result of fire from bandits or terrorists. The Nigerian Air Force Director of Public Relations and Information, Edward Gapquet, has confirmed to TVC News there is no evidence the helicopter was shot down by bandits. Speaking on Journalist Hangout, the NAF Director of Public Relations and Information reviews the tactical effort of the Air Force in combating an insurgency in the Naira has gotten some relief as the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited signs a commitment letter and term sheet with the Afrexim Bank for an emergency $3 billion crude oil repayment loan. According to a brief statement from the NNPCL, the signing was conducted in the bank's headquarters in Cairo, Egypt. The loan is expected to provide some immediate disbursement that will enable the NNPCL assist federal government in its ongoing fiscal and monetary policy reforms targeted at foreign exchange market stabilization. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu had earlier this week pledged to take steps to address the forex challenge in the country. The Tertiary Education Trust Fund says it's considering suspending foreign scholarships while considering an upward review of local scholarships. Executive Secretary of the Fund, Sonia Chono, disclosed this at a one-day stakeholders engagement on emerging issues with TET Fund intervention in Abuja. He says the recent monetary policy of the CBN has created difficulties in payments of foreign scholarships, tuition and stipends for beneficiaries. The fund says with the current CBN monetary policy, it's considering suspending its segment of the foreign component as there are presently difficulties in payment of foreign scholarships, tuition and stipends to beneficiaries.